एवरीवन आई एम डॉक्टर संध्या रानी सीनियर कंसल्टेंट ऑब्सिट्रिक्स एंड गैनिकोलॉजी डिपार्टमेंट एज द वुमेन एंड चिल्ड्रन हॉस्पिटल वाइट फील्ड बैंगलोर टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस अ फ्यू फ्रीक्वेंटली आस्क क्वेश्चंस इन माय ओपीडी इन ड्यूरिंग प्रेगनेंसी सो दीज आर द कॉमन क्वेश्चन विच मोस्ट ऑफ द वीमेन आस्क एंड आई थॉट लेट मी जस्ट डिस्कस दैम विथ यू टूडे so the most common question is about exercise in pregnancy because once you are pregnant there is a family telling you take rest do not do this do not to exercise and all but no you can continue to exercise during pregnancy first trimester we just allow you to continue with your basic workout whatever you have been doing starting from the second trimester onwards you can continue to do your yoga aerobics the routine exercises only exceptional cases where the placenta is low or you are at a risk for preterm delivery that is when we ask you to avoid or slow down a bit but otherwise exercise is a must during pregnancy it helps you with your digestion it helps you avoid back ache leg cramps and helps you have a safe and normal delivery as well the next common question which women ask is about the sleep pattern doctor can i sleep in the day time or should it be only the night sleep so generally it is suggested to take a 30 minutes power nap in the afternoon at least an hour after meal during pregnancy the other question that i get frequently is about which how to sleep what is the position of the sleep so it is preferred to sleep to the left side sometimes you can switch over to the right side but lying down on your back is not very good for the blood flows to the baby the other question that i usually encounter is should i sit while shifting from side to side there is no rule like that you can turn from side to side on the bed you do not have to sit in between the positions the commonly asked question is about the diet and more so over with the non vegetarian food doctor it causes lot of heat can we eat non vegetarian food Yes absolutely there's a slight restriction on the intake of seafood in the first trimester because it may have high mercury content but otherwise you can take non vegetarian food rich in protein and it helps you become strong and it also helps in the growth of the baby What about the dental procedures in pregnancy it is very common for women to have tooth decay during pregnancy they come in the middle of the night with pain in the teeth so dental procedures are usually done be it cavity filling or root canal they can be done in the second trimester of pregnancy and it is very important for you to go for that dental checkup and get that sorted out because dental infections can also lead to preterm deliveries what about surgeries other surgeries in pregnancy lot of women get scared when we talk about surgery during pregnancy will it harm my baby no if at all it is an emergency say for example appendicitis or gallbladder stones which is causing severe pain renal stones which is causing repeated infections or pain it is safe for you to go through surgeries during pregnancy especially in the second trimester even for the anesthesia there are safe medicines which can be used in pregnancy and through laparoscopy or open surgery the problems can be corrected the other common question that we face is about travel the moment a woman conceives she wants to travel to her hometown go to her mother's place so our usual recommendation is to travel after the first pregnancy ultrasound is performed once we make sure your pregnancy is fine and there are no other complications you can go ahead and travel and if it is a long travel like say more than 18 to 20 hours it is wait better to wait till the second trimester of pregnancy So what is the upper limit for travel most of the airlines allow travel up to 34 weeks of pregnancy between 28 to 34 weeks of pregnancy you need to consult your doctor one or two days prior to the travel take a fitness certificate and then you can go ahead to travel however we always suggest that by the time you enter the third trimester you try to settle down at a place where you are planning to deliver so that the consulting doctor has enough time to understand your health case and help you out with the delivery process the final question that everyone asks is about the vaccines doctor are vaccines safe in pregnancy so there are few vaccines which are recommended during pregnancy one is the tetanus vaccine the other is called tdap the or the three in one vaccine which protects you and your baby from tetanus diphtheria and whooping cough 
In addition, hepatitis B vaccine can also be safely given during pregnancy for certain high-risk individuals. And recently, the COVID vaccine has been approved, so it is safe for all the pregnant women to take COVID vaccination. So we in Aster Women and Children Hospital are a team of obstetricians who can answer many more queries which you have during pregnancy. We can discuss more about the COVID vaccination and the vaccines are available at the hospital as well. So please reach out to us for further queries and we'll be more than happy to help you with all your pregnancy queries. Hope this was helpful. Thank you.